Some friendships are so important, you'd do anything to make them last. That's why Eli and I created the no-kiss list. What exactly is a no-kiss list, you ask? Well, hold on a second. I'll get there. When I learned that I had a brother, I made up the dance for Monkeys, late for school. We'd be crumb fighters together. No, no, things are fun. When you told me about his mother what? and all that she did. Oh, by the way, student revolt. Class is canceled. That sucks. Oh well. So funny, Pinocchio. Any more you're gonna need a nose job. One thing you should know about me. 18 years of apartment living, and you still believe pressing the down button speeds up the elevator's arrival. Implicitly. I lie all the time. Good morning, Mrs. Loy. I lied to Mrs. Loy that I walked her dog three times a day when she went to Atlantic City. But honestly, I think that dog hates me. Close it, close it. Good morning, Mr. McAllister. Sam. I lie to myself that it's meaningless when I don't tell Eli that Gabriel, the beautiful new doorman, may occasionally text me. Hey, how's it going? How's and it going? I lied to Bruce the first when I let him believe he ever had a shot at being my first. I hope the day continues to be good. From the more, if, it's been, if it hadn't been good, then I hope it, it changes All right. dramatically. Yeah. Step aside, kids. Bye, boys. Bye. 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 Have a great day. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was fun. Thank you. Thank you. We're going this way. Oh, take me away. We got a blood that passes through a side. Fraulein, have you ever noticed that Gabriel's left eye is greener than his right? <laughs> Eli, you insult me. Mm. What do you take me for, some sort of amateur doorman stalker? That's only the 37 thing I love most about him. <laughs> oh my god, Naomi, remind me to introduce you to this guy. Uh, freshman film freak goes by the name of uh, Bruce the Second. He's your boyfriend. Oh, yeah. right, mm -hmm. him. Yep. <laughs> but Gabriel's just so gaze-worthy. <laughs> okay, clearly Gabriel belongs on the no-kiss list. Okay, if I'm okay, I keep up. You check the news, I'll stock up on snacks. Why discriminate, you know what I mean? The no-kiss list is meant for all truly, madly kissable boys like Robert Pattinson. Mm -hmm. It hurts knowing that person's lips will never touch yours because of our ever so sacred vow of no-kissing. Mm. Bye! Is this a new song, Otis? So is me, baby. Oh, I love it. Let me tell you, baby, what it is I'm looking for. There you go, baby. Ain't more than a little bit. So if you got it, baby, I'll adore you. Love stands mine for me. Hey, I'll walk you to class if we can take the scenic route. And I lie to Eli that I'm OK with gay. Do you see that one on the left? I am. Just not for him. Will I have to? Yes, Naomi, it's not high school anymore, OK? Have you seen the wreckage of our lives lately? Mm. Some psych might be good for the soul. Go in there, show them who's boss. It's 110% you. Oh, You're beautiful, I love you. No, I can't. You got this, it's all on you. Go, go, no. go, get. No, I don't want to go. Talk to me. No, 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 no. back. Come. Oh, I lied to the NYU admissions committee when I told them I had a vision for my future. Six weeks in and I can barely see straight. Naomi, over here. I saved you a seat. Thanks, Robin. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We will be re-examining chapter five in our textbook. Oh, crap. Going over your Eli always gives me a pen. Chapter five, you want to know why I lie? 
And what exactly Eli meant by the wreckage of our lives? There's Eli, already making me feel better. Eli and I have lived next door to each other our whole lives. I was there when his moms could finally get married. They may look happy here, but it became a total shit show when my dad had an affair with Eli's mom, Jenny. The mom's marriage survived, somehow, but my parents didn't. So I started lying to my mom to tell her she'd make it through. It's not that I don't think she can. I just don't think she wants to wake from the pharmaceutical haze she's been in since dad left. But Eli and I will always have each other. We're city kids who never had big backyards. So we built our own urban tree house on top of the stairwell in our building. It's our private hollowed ground. Miss? Miss? Hello? Are you finding it difficult to concentrate on our discussion of Freud and the unconscious? While it may have appeared that I was zoning out, I was actually exploring the very power of my unconscious. Is that so? Yes. <laughs> I, I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. Eli, seriously, come on, please. I need to talk to you. My professor just totally chewed me out. It was humiliating. Be in there in five. Fine. I'll see you in ten. Are you seriously gonna do that all semester? What? I'm just trying to capture your essence. Oh, did I tell you? I think I decided on a title for my student film. Hot Child in the City. Hot. <laughs> oh no, that's for Eli. Oh, that's cool. Um, I got Orson Welles. I'll call you later? Yeah, sure. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce. So glad you're here. I never noticed B2 had such good teeth. Huh? Just follow me. Follow me. I don't want to go. Where are we going? We're well, complaining. No, uh... I think we should get married here. Well, you make me swoon from the gritty romance of it all, but what happened to the Temple of Dendor at the Met? This time, I don't mean you and me get married. I mean me and he. <laughs> I just want to touch. Let me sit back. I don't want to dance. Mediocre doorman by night. Superstar baller by day. Good God. Sigh. <laughs> God, he's great with balls. Oh. Gabriel so belongs to him. No kiss list. But bottom standing will not suffice. Yeah, but where the hell do we put him then? Because obviously, Donnie Weisberg remains in a non-negotiable number one. Mom. Yeah. Rumor has it, uh -huh. he's doing Habitat for Humanity crap in Guatemala, dodging the drug rap from the senior Skip Day Shroom fiasco. Yeah? Donnie, Donnie. I miss him. Yeah, Gabriel may be new, but he's hotter than everyone else. Agreed. Get it in there. Come on, come on. Oh, yes. And George says he's in a band. Oh, my God. That's even hotter. Mm-hmm. Well, then, welcome, Gabriel, to number two. On the no kiss list. Hmm. Let us never forget the importance of declaring certain haughty McCaw boys off limits. Fine. It is the official insurance against Naomi and Eli breakup. I guess. Friendship where we never fight over guys. Is a friendship that lasts forever. Exactly. Done. Gabriel is off limits. If only our parents had a no kiss list. Then maybe my dad wouldn't live not in the building anymore. Far, far away. Mom Susan wouldn't still be sleeping on the couch. I'm trying to oh, gotcha. I give you all that I got. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, you call me, I'll call you. It's not 
up later. Oh, no, thank you. Mm. I gotta ask. Shake it. Oh, swerving on it, sir. For it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You like that? Oh, I love that. God. <sighs> Do you know why I love you? Because of my uncanny ability to wiggle my eyebrows. Oh my God. That is fascinating. <laughs> and also because when I feel like sticking my head in an oven. You pull it out, and you put cookies in there instead. That was sweet. Mm. Thanks. Check it. Check it. All right. Let's see. What do we got for tonight? Um, apples to apples. Trouble. <laughs> what do you want to do? <gasps> Let's eat cookie dough. <sighs> I got a 911. Mama G. Yeah. Gotta go do damage control. <sighs> I love you. See you more. And you said this was um, <clears throat> all locally grown, organically? I'm glad somebody noticed. Forgive me for having a deposition in the morning. I take it couples counseling went well today? Hmm. Hey, Mom. Hi, baby. You hungry? I was thinking of ordering Chinese. Oh, look how thin I was there. Am I at any of these with you? These were before you were born. Mm. Here's some of me. Look so much like Dad here. The selfish bastard's not even gonna send money this month. We'll still be okay, right? I don't know. Maybe I'll start a jewelry business. What do you know about jewelry? Remember that beading set you got for Christmas? I played with it a lot more than you did. <laughs> Can't sleep again? Well, at least you're working things out. That's what counts. Thanks. I think he's in his room. Distrusting or disparaging the motives of others, bitterly or sneeringly distrustful, contemptuous, or pessimistic. So? SATs? Bruce, yes. Phloxinus and the helipilification. Uh, I, I don't have that. The estimation that something is valueless. Thank you for that very cheerful bit of wisdom, Mr. McAllister. Uh, soporific, soporific, soporific. Quack. Excuse me? Means like a poser. It was on my SATs. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you had to take the SATs to get in the doorman school. No, it was for... Forget it. Why aren't you sleeping? Yeah, I tried it all. Ambien, uh, counting sheep, 
Weed, <laughs> complete works of Dostoevsky. Dostoevsky. Don't care, I jerked off for a while. That's okay, that's, that's plenty. How long has this been going on for? A while. I blame Naomi. I was five, she was seven. We were left alone in the elevator together, completely unattended, and she lifts up her skirt and sticks her tongue out at me. And? And my heart completely leaked out of my chest. Naomi has owned it ever since. Wasn't that like 10 years ago? And doesn't she have a boyfriend now? If you're referring to Bruce too, then technically yes, but I know that I shall forever be Bruce one to her in every way. Bruce two, I laugh at you. Oh, plus, just last spring, right? We're back in our same elevator. She's in a Snickers bar. She uh. leans into me, and kisses me, completely sucking my soul mm. out of my body and into hers. I love the taste of Snickers. <laughs> Where the F were you? I love that you worry. I texted you like 37,000 times. Happy hour had a happy ending. I met out with the hello hottie. You're giving me that same look you gave me when I told you Whole Foods stopped carrying chocolate chip bagels. Fine. It's just... Since when do you go around kissing random guys? It's not random. He's from the Upper East Side, and he invited me to his parents' place for Shabbos on Friday night. We never do the East Side. Whoa, since when? And Eli, you're not even Jewish. No, but I could be. We're 21st century New Yorkers. We don't believe in God. We don't believe in anything. Whoa, I don't not believe in anything. I believe in the no-kiss list. And coconut cupcakes. And I believe in you. <laughs> Snuggle me. Since when do you actually go around kissing boys? Since there's actually some super cute boys for me to kiss? But in high school, you never uh, even... High school, high school, yuck. Okay, in high school, my sexuality was purely hypothetical. College case different. Now I can, like, actually meet guys. Lots of guys. So, now you're, like, totally gay? I've always been totally gay. Right. Of course, I mean, obviously. But nothing has to change, right? I mean, we're still Naomi and Eli? Of course we're still Naomi and Eli. Now we're just Naomi and Eli plus boys. Hmm? Ready for time. Hmm. I lie to everyone. But mostly, I think I lie to myself. 
So, tell me, are you gonna do it with Bruce too? Yet to be determined. You've been dating for like a month, which translates to like a year in college time, and you're still doing things that end with fucking instead of things that end in fucking. <laughs> what are you waiting for? I don't know. If I get chocolate, would you go coconut? Mm, I want it all. <sighs> but here's the thing, he's A, kind of obsessed with me. Right. Be Canadian. Yes. And see a Bruce, which is just kind of redundant. I was thinking more vanilla. Mm hmm. Oh my Ooh, God. Speaking of, but. Yeah. He tells me I'm his muse, which is interesting, no? Ooh. That's nice. It's nice. Anyways, I told him to pick me up at the building tonight. So you like actually like him? I mean, I don't know. Maybe I do. And like you said, we're in college anyways, so, I mean, there's no reason we shouldn't do it, <laughs> right? Well, what do you think? Would you kill me if I'm too strung out for sugar? Hmm? Read my mind, Muggs? Huh. Home? Yeah, home. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm uh, here to pick up Naomi. You must be Bruce, too. Oh, Canada! That's you, big guy. Naomi will be right down. She is just bleaching her lady beard. Girl was looking borderline Frida Kahlo, so not pretty. I like that. It's nice. Hello, everyone. How are we doing? Bruce one. Meet Bruce two. Hi. So, what are we uh, all doing here? They're waiting for Naomi. Naomi. Yeah. What about Naomi? So, uh, you set? Yep, Bruce. Let's fly. Mm -hmm. He's coming too. Okay, I know, I know, I know. I shouldn't love a girl who toys so carelessly with other people's emotions, especially mine, but it's not like my brain has the ability to overrule my heart. In other parts of your anatomy. Oh my God, George, that's so funny. That's so funny, you're such a good comedian. You're making a penis joke. What is it? Is that your closer now? God, talk about real things here. Adult feelings. You wouldn't understand, George. Okay, it's perfect. Bill Murray binge watching weekend. It's gotta be Ghostbusters, Groundhog Day, Rushmore, Caddyshack. What about Bob? Yeah. Ends in tears, lost in translation. I love it. No, I'm telling you, I've seen it a million times. He says, I'll always remember these past few days with you. Okay, Naomi, let's set this boy straight. Uh -huh. At the end of Lost in Translation, Bill Murray pulls ScarJo in right? and whispers. I have to be leaving, but I won't let that come between us. <laughs> right? Come on, right? You know there's this film festival going on up at Lincoln Center? We could go. Uh, <laughs> Eli and I don't no. go above 14th Street. You know what? I have a better idea. Let's go. Grab me. I put on some makeup. I turn on the A-track. I'm pulling my wig down from the shelf.
you were awesome. amazing. No. I love that one part when you were like doing your like thing. This, <laughs> you know, when you were crawling across the table Did was you like so that? sexy. Oh, there's you, little buddy. Oh, wait, oh my God, I know you got. Can I get your autographs? <laughs> You're so good. No. It's insane. Oh, I'm beat. Eli, homeward bound, darling. Oh, daddy's hoping for a hot hookup somewhere in this big bad city. <laughs> Hold up. Are you ditching me? Uh, girl, I thought you two were gonna bump the uglies. Oh, right. We are. We so are. <laughs> um, hey, you know, you could, like, definitely come back to my dorm room if you wanted. Oh. Be good, you two. <sighs> but not too good, huh? Get some. Bye. Bye. Do you maybe want to, like, uh, take your top off? Um, do you want me to? Um, if you want to. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. <clears throat> Victory. Is is that from Slice? We had a good chat, good chat. <laughs> but now I feel myself. I feel myself. Changing. Changing. Dude, you gotta see this video of these ferrets on YouTube. Dude. Oh, oh shit. Apologies. Proceed. You want to watch a movie? Yeah. Cool. Naomi. Oh. oh, monkeys. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's embarrassing. Thank you. So what, your uh, college Bruce couldn't help you carry these? Gina, is that your girlfriend? She must be really pretty. I mean, I'm, obviously, she's pretty Gina up. was uh, my mother's name. Was? I, I took this gig when she got sick. I had to work nights so I could take care of her when my dad was working. Package for Poland. Thank you. It's a little clumsy today, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, I'll sign for that. Ugh. Bills, bills, boring bills. I have no idea. I've never seen anything like it. Curious George, did you happen to see who put this archaic contraption in here? Hmm. Ah! Mom? Ah! Mom? Ah! Mom, have you gotten on linear? What are you doing? Oh, hi, honey. 
Tony. What the hell are you doing with the freaking sledgehammer? The closet wall. Well, we had his and her closets, and there's no Holy need to do shit. anymore. And that's why I thought I'd make one shit. giant open space. I'm thinking of personal interior design. Maybe you should stick to jewelry. Little did I know she would get so crazy, so fast, so maybe I'll get baked on the daily, put my feet up, let my mind go hazy Little did I know she would get this gnarly, this quickly, I hardly had time to think Uh-uh, no time to think If you're mad, fed up, find a bone to pick And if you want to get laid, then don't commit Relax, bubble bath, Eli. go soak in it Dead broke, but you got a couple of Eli! And hopeless, cause it's all downhill From the moment that you pull well, we'll the freeze over before kill. we come up with the money to pay for that wall you If you need help I can be a kind of uh, handyman. Unglued and I haven't really slept that well since then. Staring at alarm clocks on my night stands. I have now to play like the kick drum, several in loops like the dim sum. Tell myself I think I can, little end John. But sometimes seems like it's all been done. I want to end on a good note. But damn, yeah, I, I misspoke. I hate so you. Attract everything I said. All the rise and shine, think I'll stay in bed. I want to end on a good note. But damn, I misspoke. So I attract everything I said. All Hi, are you with Eli? Yeah, you and everybody else. Really? Really. Pick Rachel Green if you wanna act wild, go make a scene. Getting paid over here, baby ching a ling. If you're scared to propose and save the ring, and if you can't get it up when you lay the D, well, I suggest you switch your mind state. When people ask you how it's going, just say I'm great. Okay, well, I suggest you switch your mind state. When people ask you how it's going, just say I'm great. I'm great. My night was a total bust. You know, it's it's one thing to pull that Eli crap with someone else, but with me, seriously? No, he crossed the line. <sighs> you know what, I think he's just jealous. Yeah, wait, uh, of what? Of us. Not that he should be. <sighs> hey. Ugh. Hey, are you okay? God, you're beautiful. Hey, do you think I'd crash here this weekend? I just definitely don't think I can deal with going back to the building. Mm. Please. If only because you're so damn cute. <laughs> <laughs> So, rumor has it that you spent the weekend shacked up at Bruce's. Are things like heating up with you guys? <laughs> you kidding me? We barely made it to second base. Just fine by me. Oh, 
Yes, just the Robin I was looking for. Robin, my name twin. Yeah. <laughs> this place is like a total maze, and I got this philosophy paper do manana. Well, um, it's organized alphabetically by subject. Hey, Robin, maybe since you, you know, you work in the library, you could, you could help Robin out with his research. Oh, right. Robin, um, would you like want me to help you? Uh, yeah. That would be sweet. Yeah, major gratitude. Uh, um, so, uh, uh, hit me up when you get off. Okay. All right, yeah. Get you ladies on the flippity-floppy. <laughs> Later, bruh. <laughs> he, Robin, definitely wants you. He does? Sure. <laughs> he just doesn't know it yet. First things first. Just because you work in a library does not mean that you have to dress like a librarian. When you make plans to help him, you gotta say something like, it's a date. And then when you're together, you gotta make some physical contact. Physical contact? Like where? <laughs> this is fun. Okay, work study is far from fun. No, I mean like, you and me doing girl talk, you know? never done it. All my life, it's been all Eli. I mean, throwing a Bruce or two, but <laughs> <laughs> the girl quotient's always been zero. Well, I'm really glad to be of service. Robin, what's sex like? What? You're a virgin? No way. Shh. This is a library. What about Bruce, too? I don't know, is Bruce really the one? Well, he doesn't have to be the one to be the first one. Do you know how much easier my life would be if Eli noticed my looks in the wow? Naomi's bone her hot way and not in the... those stilettos I picked out for Naomi are great way. Eli is gay. It's never gonna change. I know. Hey, Naomi. Stranger, hey. what are you doing here? Look, Bug, where have you been all my life? Where have I been? Where have you been? We'll catch up. Magnolia? <sighs> Can't. I'll have to meet with my advisor worst. But back at the building later. See you there? Oh, I can't. La Pelo with my Spanish club. Since when did we join things? Since now, I guess. So suddenly college means we don't see each other? Sorry, I gotta catch this. Hey, yeah. I'll be there in a sec. I gotta go. See you never? I love you. Me and more. Don't forget, Halloween shopping. Hey, yeah, so I'm on my way right now. Five men trip over themselves, checking you out, while you merely glared at them. Your beauty. Do you use it for good or evil? Evil. But don't worry. You're safe. People make the mistake of letting beauty guide attraction. My father fell for my mother the first time he saw her. 
but he eventually tossed aside the beauty myth for the very real lesbian across the hall. And the lesbian remembered she was a lesbian. So dad left and mom decided to hide her beauty underneath the bed covers. Oh shit. I cannot be the guy who leaves three voicemails. <sighs> Let me guess. Naomi is either late or she forgot. Can I offer you a drink? Um, no. I'm all right. Good. I hear uh, Brandy can get you into trouble. Who's Brandy? My mother's Brandy. Well, I didn't think you had a mom named Brandy. I don't. She's more to Ginny. I'm sorry, you don't get that joke, that's weird. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Wait, do you keep your porn in mint condition? Busted. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's a bit more embarrassing than that. <clears throat> oh, X-Men? Yeah, I know, I should have I should have gotten rid of those like a long time ago. Are you ago. kidding I... me? What, Wait, can I open it? Yeah, go ahead, that's huh. cool. Man, the X-Men were like, Pivotal heroes for me. You know, the other superheroes, they have their normal alter egos, you know, the, the Clark Kent's and the Bruce Wayne's to hide behind. Yeah. X-Men are different. They're always exactly who they are. Yeah, I mean, like, Wolverine can't shave, put on a tie, and then go to work at the newspaper the next day. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Um, Cyclops can't uh, take off a cape and attend fancy dinner parties. <laughs> I mean, these mutants are full-time mutants. Yeah, they're... Powers and weaknesses are all out in the open. Yeah. Are you a mutant? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, I can roll my tongue. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> I have a microscopic third nipple. Oh, mm -hmm. where is this? We must. No. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. <laughs> I like you. Don't sound so surprised. God, I can't even imagine what you must think of me. Terror. Naomi has told me a lot of stories. <laughs> I bet. But, oh man. I like you better in person. It's funny. I think I've always liked Naomi's version of me best. Maybe you're mistaken. I shouldn't have done that. Nope. Nope. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, 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 no. I should not oh, have done that. Um, God, no, 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 no. Um, I mean, I, I really shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have. I wanted to. I did too. Call me Carmen San Diego, but I'm beginning to think that B2 is not the man behind my mystery mix. Why? What do you mean? Well, I finally got my hands on a tape player. Pervy Mr. McAllister has one, of course, because he's still living in a different century. And it turns out my music man's taste in tunes is pretty epic. And I can only hope it's not Bruce One, which leaves only one dark horse in the running. Who? Gabriel! He has access. And he's in a band, so he knows good music. Naomi, hey, do you really think you should be getting this excited over a guy? Gabriel? What about Bruce, too? What's with you today? Uh, nothing. I'm good. Are we still set on uh, Sid and Nancy? Oh, so set. I love us on Halloween. You look for me, I'll look for you. Done. Awesome. Hmm. Ooh. 
say you. Yeah, looks great. Try it on. Are you snacking on stupid? It was obviously joking, since when do we endorse camel toe? Eli, what is wrong with you? I have to tell you something. Are you moving out of the building? No, no, I, I... Oh, I kissed Bruce, too. Yeah, I'm sure, whatever. No, I mean, like, I really did kiss him. Well, I hope you enjoyed it more than I do. Just thinking, you know, you, you never put him on the no kiss list, so it was... Yeah, well, I didn't just... put your grandma Gertie on the list either. Some things are just obvious. And Bruce, too, is not exactly your type. Yeah, oh, you're right. Look, it was stupid. It was... <gasps> you were just in the moment. And, like, Eli! I, I don't... This is amazing! Prepare to be jealous, people! How much for this one? You know I'm bad at good when you're on my mind. You know, I mean, you picked today of all days to be only eight minutes late. Trick or treat. I was in the neighborhood. No, you aren't. I'm glad you went. Come here. I'm, I'm sorry. For? For coming here so late, for uh, wanting to see you. It's okay. Eli! Get in the room. Go, go, go. Oh, this is the first place she's gonna look. Oh. Get in the closet. Oh, just go to the back and put something over your face. Chill, Naomi. Where the fuck were you? That belt is offensive on you. No, no, you're just saying that because you want to wear it. But your outfit's way better than mine. Come on. Is it Eli? Tonight that baby is calling this waist to mamba. We share everything, right? Are you please ready to go? Do huh? you uh, mind if Bruce comes in? Um. He's downstairs. I ran into him on my way to the laundry room. The first. Not your cheap thrill cheating partner. All right, Naomi, that's not fair. Wait a sec. You make out with my boyfriend, and I'm not being fair? You know what? I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's just go. All right. I guess you're right. Let's motor. Wait, 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 wait. Got it. Shit. You know what? I forgot something. What'd you forget? My dick. You can't possibly expect me to go anywhere without my dick, right, Naomi? Two sacks. Maybe in the lobby? No, I'm in the lobby. I'll wait here. Okay. This isn't some cheap thrill, and it's, I'm definitely not screwing with your mind. I don't know what this is, but it's not that. I'll be back soon, okay? Wait, um, gum. So you forgot gum. <laughs> Thanks. Got your dick? Got your dick, Naomi? If I did, would it get me anywhere with you? Gum. Hold up. Bruce Two, the prodigal son of dentists, only chews sugar-free gum. Bruce Two is an orbit man. But Eli is Bubble Yum's bitch. Since when do you chew orbit? Since Gaga replaced Madonna. Why do you care? Why did you really go back to the apartment? I told you, Helen Keller. G. U. M. 
Come. upstairs like what like your balls to go along with your dick language gene harlow buy your own damn drinks tonight eli it's time for a changing of the guard come on bruce let's take cutie patootie for a walk are we going out tonight or what have fun with whatever it is you're lying to me about because I changed my mind, Eli. I don't want to go to a stupid NYU party with you tonight. It's about Bruce. Oh, what the, what's about me? About you, the other Bruce. Oh, is he coming with us too? Why didn't you ask Eli? Well, I just thought he was with you when he went upstairs. Looks like Colonel Bastard's upstairs in Eli's bedroom with the candlestick. Listen, I was always going to go with you. You are my top priority. Oh, that's brilliant, Eli. I am so flattered to know that you've put my needs over the needs of my boyfriend. Well, I think it's safe to say he's not your boyfriend anymore. No, let go of me. Fine. I like him. I really do. Is that why you're hiding him? Because you like him so much? You really want to know why I'm hiding him? I'm afraid of you. Let's just take a chill pill. It's pretty easy. Shut up, George! I need your jacket. Go. Come on, Bruce. I want to dance with somebody who loves me. Oh. Cutie patootie! Yeah, it's cutie pie. Shut up. I'm done. Have fun! Life in the big city. Whoa, look at that navel. Well, where's your other half? Isn't it like some law that if you're out in the middle of the night, the Eli appendage is with you? It's kind of a touchy subject. A uh, quick recap what happened is uh, Naomi, Bruce 2 are over, and now Bruce 2 is with Eli. With? Wait, Bruce and Eli are. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, <laughs> you know? Eli and Bruce 2. She was too good for him anyway, though. I mean, everyone in the building's been saying that for a Bruce, week. Bruce, could you just leave us? I'll call you, or you call me when you're done with. Yeah, have your girl time. Just call me. Whoa, Eli and. I mean, are you okay? You know, I don't even care if I was Bruce Two's gay learning curve. <laughs> that we're so indifferent that we're not even bothering with an official breakup. But I do care that my best friend is the reason. <sighs> I know it's a big bad world out there with war and injustice and global warming and people clubbing baby seals. I'm sorry. I care most about the Naomi and Eli bubble. <laughs> Friend or brother, or whatever shade of you I am. You must think I'm so totally pathetic. I guess I just thought that someone as beautiful and confident as you would never feel as crappy as the rest of us. No offense. None taken. Sorry to disappoint. No. It makes you human. It's a good thing. <laughs> Whoa, Naomi. Just got your girl interrupted. Nice costume, Robin. Yeah, thanks. Same to you, Robin.
Gabriel's shift just ended. His band's playing in the West Village in 30. Let's look him out, Robin. But, oh God, what am I gonna wear? This isn't a costume. Let's go. I feel like a blueberry. I love blueberries. Upside down. You don't want to stay. I kind of want to meet him. Let's just go. Naomi. Hey, you came. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's so awesome. Um, it's a uh, last call. D do you want a drink? Do you want to get out of here? Or... Let me buy breakfast. Come on. Eggs, bacon. My treat. I don't really believe in bacon. Cereal. Oh well. I'm a useless man myself. <laughs> so. You know, I'm just not really feeling well. I think I'm just gonna go home. Come on. See you later. Hey, Gabriel. Let me tell you, baby, what it is I'm looking for. Ain't more than a little bit, so if you got it, baby, I'll the door. You lost that smile for me and that personality is enough for me. It don't take that much to please me. It's easy for you to please me. Now all you got to do is pay attention, baby. It's easy oh, to please me. Hi. So, Gabriel, George, Mr. McAllister, and I have all decided that we're Team Naomi, obviously, but we kindly allowed you to keep Mrs. Lloyd, but not the dog. Okay. Naomi and Eli's New York custody agreement. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not use the laundry room on Sundays. shalt avoid Yaffa Cafe completely. Instead, try Starbucks on Astor Place. Thou shalt not go to Magnolia, ever. Thou shalt look through your people and make sure that I am not in the foyer when you are going to the elevator. Thou shalt go and check your mail. If you see me waiting at the elevator lobby, thou shalt go straight to the elevator if you see me checking my mail. Okay. You need to leave. I'll leave when you close I'm the door. I'm twice your size. Leave now. You never know I exist. Just close the door. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. It's amazing. Yeah. Come on, give me your hand. So good. Okay, so maybe it wasn't phrased like the friggin' Ten Commandments, but it was like if you see me go into the elevator, go check your mail. If you go check your mail, go to the elevator. You know what I mean? Look at the pretzel. Like it's just. Uh, I don't know. Sorry, I'm, I'm stuck on incomprehension. I, I just, I don't understand how something could last so long and be so strong and just end over nothing, you know what I mean? Oh my god, I am so sorry. Not nothing, okay? That came out entirely wrong. 
No more Naomi talk, all right? Okay, promise. Come on. And you know that pretzel's mine, right? Oh, really? <laughs> Our toes <are> funny. <laughs> Really, Naomi? I know what you're doing. And that skirt hasn't fit since 2010. Hater! It's 5 a.m. Maybe you should go to bed. Fighting with Eli is so exhausting. It is against the co-op board rules to nap on the lobby sofa. Ugh, co-op board, Shmula. Lord, come on, please, just let me sleep it off here. Mm. Oh. <laughs> what kind of trouble did you get yourself into last night? <sighs> my backup friend Robin and what I... What is that backup friend? <sighs> she's, she's in my psych class, and we got all dressed up to try and get into this party with these awful girls. Ugh, you would have hated them. <laughs> and the rest is kind of... Blurry from there. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. What is the room gonna stop spinning? <laughs> you'll you'll feel better in the morning. Actually, no, that's not true. You're gonna feel worse. What? Yeah, you'll feel better in the afternoon though. Okay, oh, God. Uh, actually, I don't know that for for sure. Though. What? You I, can't I, I, I can't predict. I'm not, I'm not a doctor. I'm a doorman. Oh. Listen. I know you think all this crap with Eli is like the worst thing to ever happen. But there's a lot more out there for you than you realize. If you're ready for it. By the way, um, what was your favorite song? The mixtape. Did you like it? That was you. Oh, I hoped it was you. All right, okay, get out of here, come on. Oh. Good night, Gabriel. Good night. You know what? You're not a bad face to see first thing. What are you doing here? Checking my mail. I told you not to do this. No, Naomi. See, you didn't tell me anything. Telling requires actual vocal contact. What you did is you wrote a list and said I shouldn't do this. Come on, Naomi. This is so silly. Yeah. It's a shit storm of giggles. You know what? No, look, look, look. look. No, you, you look! You blew it! You totally blew it. You had me. You really had me buying into this whole cult of Eli you created. Oh, God. Stop lying to yourself, Naomi. You never cared about Bruce. You just liked the attention. I'll plead guilty if I have to. But I don't feel guilty. That's right, Eli, because life's a musical, right? You're the star of the show, the life of the party. God forbid you should actually feel anything or realize that there are consequences to your shittiest actions. You know what? You're exactly like my dad. No, Naomi. I am nothing like your dad. I can't help the fact that you can't handle change. It's not always gonna be the same forever, Naomi. It's not always gonna be you and me. That doesn't change the way that I feel about you. Please, Eli, that is so cheap. Grow up, Naomi. If you can't start facing reality, you might as well crawl into bed and pull the covers up tight because you know what? You are on the express train to becoming exactly like your mom. You're no good for me, Eli. I am tattooing you at the top of my no-kiss list. I should have always been tattooed at the top of your no-kiss list, Naomi. God, give me a break. I'll give you a break. A clean one. Let's just do this once and for all. Yaffa Cafe, Sunday, be there.
you not get my, my texts? You're just so passive aggressive now that you won't even answer me. Not gonna talk to me? If I say now what I really feel, Naomi and Eli really never will be Naomi and Eli again. Let's get this over with. Shit. Your turn. Don't take back the belt. That's the red glitter belt. Hmm? If I keep it, if you offer it. Why don't you keep that? Then maybe there's hope. <laughs> you know, why don't you why don't you just just keep it all? You can you can have all of it. <sighs> you really have nothing to say? I miss you, Eli. I just uh I don't want to believe that you would give this all up over a, a guy. I'd talk to you if you were proud. <laughs> and I'd run to you if you would run away. We are perfect in the past. Tomorrow crashed in oh so fast. Oh, forever. Mom, it's 4 p.m. I got you a latte. Mm. We're still $200 short, so they won't put the electricity back on. I really need to talk to you. Dad, where are you? Everything all right in here? Yo, dude, you're bleeding. Hand. So what are you doing here? Escape the residence. Sometimes I uh, sneak a smoke. That's the best I can do. You're really sweet, Eli. No, I'm not that sweet. Well, you are to me. I don't think no, this it's is... it's okay. If Eli doesn't believe in the no-kiss list, neither do I. Naomi, no. you're upset. And, uh, you know, I think it's like one of these things Don't where... tell me. To our man's code of conduct? No, it's the gentleman's code of conduct. Uh, maybe we should have, like, dinner and a movie. You really are a crappy doorman.
person who sins. No, it's a person who pursues pleasure. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. Sinner? Yeah, someone pursues pleasure is a sinner. They're gonna, why, why else would they be pursuing pleasure? It's not the sin. You're I, get, I get the point. Artful. Capricious. Uh, capricious means, So long, capricious. Uh, capricious means picking up are you shit no. conveniently. I'm never gonna know the meaning of that word now. On the side of the road, what never could have been. I, you know, I lost quite my train of thought because I did that amazing kick. Did you see that with the uh, with the little towel? Just like summer wine, Naomi, Naomi. <laughs> Rusted. Rusted works, Ooh. though. I'm tuning a guitar. Is that all you were doing? Yeah, I, I don't play oh. the guitar. I'm not a songwriter. That's weird. So I, I wouldn't thought I heard my name that. being I, sung mm, by you. I don't think so. Isn't that so, Okay, um, <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood with your basket. What's, uh, what's in there? Well, I made a feast. Want to partake? I have a better idea. What are we doing? Something you've never done before. Soon, in a few seconds. Okay, all right. That was too good. Stop. Like, look at the view. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Let's go over here. Over here. Gazebo. Oh. So I think we should find somewhere really sort of secret, maybe just off, and, you know, somewhere kind of hidden away. Yeah? yeah. Why, you want to make out? Oh, gross. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh no, this is looking good. No, it's really good. Lies! Not lies. You hate it, you're washing it down! I'm not washing it. You know, princesses don't know how to cook anyway. <laughs> Do you remember how my first night on the job was your graduation day? <sighs> I do. I watched you and Eli cuddle up on the lobby sofa in your gowns till dawn. Yeah, that seems like a long time ago. That first night felt like the first day of the end of my life. But that sight of your dimpled smile, <laughs> that laugh, oh God. gave me the smallest glimmer of hope. That was all I needed. I came out to my mother. Oh, Bruce. What happened? I don't know. We were having breakfast, and uh, she asked me what was going on with that Naomi girl. 
I said it was kind of over. And God, I could have just left it at that. Only I didn't want to lie. So I said, I've been spending a lot of time with this guy, Eli. And then I added, he's my kind of boyfriend. What did she say? She said, um, <laughs> does this mean you're gay? <laughs> and I said, no, it just means I'm not straight. <laughs> And then the morning just continued. She didn't say, I love you. And she didn't say, I hate you. Is that your, uh, is that your documentary? Um, yeah. when I told him I forgave his mom for what happened between our parents. But I'm happy for him that they're working things out. Even though mine aren't. I don't think it was dad choosing a lesbian over mom that most damaged her sense of her own femininity. I think it was losing her marriage to a woman she called a friend. Today, we will be exploring the theory of the unfulfillable female desire for a phallus, as envisioned by Freud. <laughs> Is there something funny you'd like to share with the entire class? I'm sorry. <laughs> the theory of the unfulfillable female desire for a phallus I've been broken up with Eli for 36 days, 9 hours, and 7 minutes. I'm actually okay, but still sometimes, all the time, I miss him. Look, I know that I think that culottes are neat, and that I say neat. Remind me again why you and Eli are still fighting. Are you going to hold on to this forever? How could I be in college and be so dumb? I've been holding on to the Naomi and Eli fantasy, but that's just it. It was a fantasy. Eli was just being who he is. And I love who Eli is. I can't keep avoiding my former best friend across the hall. And you can't keep clinging on to the memories that they have. At some point, we have to let go. I was afraid of that. Me too. There's no way for me to know if he can find me here. I didn't call, I didn't text. 
I left it up to that old connection, that old friendship sense. That, and I left the red glitter belt on his front door. You found me. Hi. You think, uh, we still add up? I think that we should get married right here. Eli, we're never getting married. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. <laughs> For everything. So, Bruce, huh? <laughs> Wouldn't have figured that the first time that you're in love and in a monogamous relationship, it would be with my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was Gabriel who made me the mixtape. He makes me these amazing mixes, and I'm supposed to find the hidden meaning and <laughs> make him one back, <laughs> which I'm not very good at. <laughs> Yeah. Are we okay? Yeah, we're okay. We're where we need to be. Really bad taste in music. You like me anyway? Because I really think I could like you too. All right, well, let's see here. Bon Jovi and Britney Spears. <laughs> I tried to warn you. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm coming for you. Going, buddy? What's with you? Just ace my SATs, so uh, you might want to take these. Start studying now, that's my suggestion. Hey, jealous about Naomi and Gabriel? Nope, I do not care. Oh, you're jealous. <laughs> He's jealous. Up to. I'm watching a movie on my computer. <laughs> Which one? Breakfast at Tiffany's? Come on. You know I'm crazy about Tiffany's. Get any. Bullshit to think of friendship and romance as being different. They're not. They're just variations of the same love. Variations of the same desire to be close. And like any love, it's difficult, awesome, treacherous, <laughs> exhilarating, confusing, and precious. So, what are you up to later? Dinner with Bruce. It's our four month anniversary. It's, it's new for me. What about you? Gabriel scored a sweet new gig at Webster Hall. Yeah, I guess that makes me a groupie. <laughs> you want any hard advice? I think I like figuring this one out. 
on my own. So how's our class, hmm? Tell me. It's going pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Uh, it's a total lie to say there's only one special person you're going to be with for the rest of your life. If you're lucky, and if you try really hard, there will always be more than one. See where I am. I'm so tired. 